Good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. This is Minister Marlena Lewis. We are here this morning with our scripture reading and our Wednesday morning prayer. Good to see you all on this morning. I hope each and every one of you has had a good and prosperous week thus far. Our scripture reading this morning is going to be coming from 2 Timothy, first chapter, and we're going to start at verse number 7. And we're going to be talking this morning about fear. So 2 Timothy chapter number 1, starting with verse number 7. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, of cowardness, of craving and cringing and fawning fear. But he has given us the power of love and of a calm and well-balanced mind and discipline and self-control. Number eight, do not blush or be ashamed then to testify to or for our Lord, nor of me a prisoner for his sake, but with me take your share of the suffering to which the preaching of the gospel may expose you and do it in the power of God. May God add a blessing to the hearer, the reader, and doer of his holy word. Here we see Timothy has boldly gone before the people and told them, you know, that, you know, don't be afraid because God did not give you the spirit of fear. And you may say, you know, Minister Lewis, what is the spirit of fear? What is the difference between a spirit of fear and just having fear? You know, we just have fear. Those are the natural things that we are afraid of every day to have fear. Um, I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of um, getting on roller coasters. Those are things that are common. They are natural to the natural, to the natural human being. We all have something that we, you know, we, we tend to be afraid of. But when we have the spirit of fear, you know that this is a spirit when it, when it stops you from doing something good as, as opposed to, um, you know, sharing the word of God. You know, when you, you get ready to go before someone, just say you're a singer. God has anointed you to sing. And every time you get before the church, you cannot get up and sing. And you know that this is a gift from God. You know that he is giving you this. But every time you just get a fear of standing up before a crowd, that is a spirit of fear. Um, God has told you to go back to school, but you're just afraid that you're going to fail. You, he's told you, you, you heard it plain and simple that you need to finish up and get your degree. And you said, no, I just, I, 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 I did bad last quarter and Lord, I just can't do it. You, that's a spirit of failure. So anytime you have something that stops you from doing the good of life, the good of Christ Jesus, that is a spirit of fear. And we must know that that is something that God did not give us, that the spirit of fear comes from the pits of hell and it comes from Satan. So I want to encourage you as we go and continue in 2023 that we, we, we address the fear that's in us, that's stopping us from our goals because we just don't know when our time is coming. And you might say, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've been wanting to pursue a career of singing. I've been wanting to pursue my college degree. I've been wanting to pursue whatever it is, the, the arts, whatever the theater, whatever it is that you feel like you want to pursue, but something just been keeping you back from doing it, from doing your dreams, from doing the things that you, you really want to do. Most of the time, majority of the time, that is a spirit of fear. And we're going to come against that today. As we continue, this is the first month. We got 11 more months to go. So you have plenty enough time to get control of your life. And we're going to denounce this spirit of fear today because that did not come from God. That is from the pits of hell. It is from Satan and it's stopping you from your dreams, from your goals, and from the vision and the plans that God has for you. So we are not going to go in this year, the rest of this year, with a spirit of fear. But we're going to have power of love and a sound mind. Be, be sound minded. Be, know what, you, what it is that God wants you to do. And go out there and be bold. Timothy said to be bold. Do not be ashamed of the gospel. So you know what it is that God wants you to do. You ought to go out there with giving all you got and you need to do it. Don't stop until you get it done. I don't care if it takes you another year to do it. Do not stop until you finish the race. The finish the race that God has called each and every one of us to finish. Getting your degree, whatever it is, you don't know what God's plan for your life in pursuing that degree, in pursuing theater, in pursuing your singing career. 
So do not be afraid as we continue on in 2023. Say, you know what? I'm going to let it go and I'm going to be bold and go before the throne. I'm going to be bold and continue to do what God has called me to do. So we're going to tackle that today. We're going to tackle that. God is requiring his people to be bold. And if we have a spirit of fear, we need to go to God in prayer. Ask him to remove that, to counsel that spirit of fear out of us so that we can continue to pursue our dreams of the plans that God has for each and every one of us. So let us go this morning with prayer. Father God, I thank you so much for this opportunity. Father God, I thank you for your people on today. And Father God, you led me to this word in Timothy, Father, to talk about the spirit of fear. Fear is something that we all have, Father. We are afraid of failure. We're afraid of messing up. We are afraid of not doing it right. But Father, we come against the spirit of fear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And we say, go in Jesus' name, that we will all, all of us this year will be able to pursue that dream, be able to pursue the plan that that you have for us, plans to prosper us and give us hope in our future. And Father, we come against it right now for your people and everybody that received this word, Father. We say it's broken today. We say the spirit of fear is broken today in the mighty name of Jesus. Woo! It's broken today in Jesus' name. We will go forth. We will not be ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. We can it done, Father. We can it done, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's broken today. Go for it today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 May God bless you. Woo! May God bless you and may God keep you. Know that you will not be stopped in this coming year. You will not be stopped today that the spirit of fear is canceled. In Jesus' holy and precious name, receive it, receive it and believe it. May God bless you today and may God keep you.